how to finish a weaving when you're done and to take it off the loom. The first thing you need to do is you need to make a knot. I call it an ending knot, okay? On my last string, I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna loop it under. But I'm not gonna pull all the way, I'm gonna leave it so I have a little loop. Then, I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go through that loop twice. And I'm gonna pull it up and then it's gonna knot right on that string. Okay, when I'm done, I can take my needle off and I can cut off the extra string, making sure I don't cut off the knot. Okay, I'm gonna make sure before I do anything else that this is packed pretty nicely. This is almost like a mini bookmark weaving. It's so tiny. All right, you need to have on your weavings, you wanna leave at least about a half an inch to an inch of warp. That's the string on both sides. So these mini looms do a really small weaving. It's good for practice weaving. Um, you know, my next loom, I'll, my next weaving I'll do on a bigger loom. Okay, the next step is to take off the tape from the back. Take off that tape really carefully. Try not to rip the loom too much. Might rip a little bit. All right. Then I'm gonna cut off every single string. Okay, not from the front, but from the back where the strings are lying down. I'm even gonna cut through all those strings where I was looping them together. Make sure you do not take your weaving off. You can't move your weaving at all. Okay, if it helps you, you can even put it down on the table and cut. Okay, I would make sure you're using the fabric scissors at the fiber center, the nice sharp ones, because this will go a little easier. Okay, Whoop, there we go. So before you do anything, make sure all the strings are cut Okay, then carefully you're going to turn it over Okay, and you're going to carefully take those strings, actually you can do it from the back side, I'm going to take those strings out of the notches. Okay, I just want to make sure none of them are caught, sometimes they get caught. There we go. I just want to very gently peel it up because you can't lose any of your strings. See right there that one got caught. So I made sure I, I got rid of those extra string, stringy parts before I did anything else. Okay, right now it's starting to look a little bit like a spider web because it's so small. Really carefully, I'm gonna take one string at a time and I'm gonna tie them together. Okay, doing the square knot. This will take a while, but you're gonna do the strings that are right next to each other because that's gonna keep your weaving together. Then I'll do the next pairing cross under pull, cross under pull. I just want to do the whole top so you can see what it'll look like. And I want to show you what to do if you have a third string. If you have a third string, I have one extra left over that I couldn't tie. I'm just going to take one of the ends that I've already tied and I'm going to tie it to it. All right, once you make sure everything is nice and tight, you might want to double check all your knots to make sure they're not moving. I would do the top and the bottom, but this top part's not going to come out now. If you want, just for looks, if you want to cut off some of those white strings when you're done tying them, you can do that. There we go. So I can cut off the rest of those, and then my weaving will be done once I tie up the bottom as well.